What's up, guys? Twins here. Tell you making peanut butter. Yes, that is right. Today we are making peanut butter. And the first step is after you now have your, uh, you want to first buy some unsalted dry roasted peanuts. You can buy salted, but the idea of making this on your own is not add any salt or sugar. So buy some unsalted dry roasted peanuts. As you can see, mine is half full because uh, I already made a batch. So anyway, so first things first is you're going to want to lay these on a baking sheet and preheat the, uh, well first preheat the oven. Something's not right. Ah, much better. Alright, so first things first, you want to preheat the oven. We're going to go for a 400 degree oven. Now, we want to get this done as quick as we can. And a, uh, a step you can do to help accelerate the heating is put your oven on broil high for like maybe like a minute or two. Alright, so I'll, I'll let it sit for a little bit. All right. 400 degrees. We're ready to go. So first things first, now that we've got this cooking sheet, nice dark one, we're going to spray a little, uh, pan. Just kidding. Peanuts are mostly oil. We don't need that. So, I'm not sure exactly how many, uh, cups are in here. I already made a batch. So we're just going to make a small batch today. I'm going to go for roughly like two, two cups, but we'll see what we get. There's one. So one and a half. One and a half cups. Doesn't matter. Because the really what's important is making sure that the peanuts are in a, uh, a single layer to, inst uh, to get an even browning. Now this is optional. You can add, we're going to add cinnamon because we enjoy cinnamon. You can skip this entirely. It, it's up to you. It's just a light coating. Alright, so now, put this in the oven, top rack, and you want to keep it on it. I'm going to go for five minutes, you can go for less, you can go for more, just realize that the darker you get, the more it's going to become actually like coffee, and we get, you can even burn, burn them, and it will give a very coffee, earthy aroma. Alright, so the peanuts have been in there for about a minute, almost two minutes. Now I want to talk to you about the second portion of this recipe. Look, what makes it a compound word recipe? But this is the butter. This is the matrix that's going to bind all the peanuts together. You can use you can use this, you can use peanut oil, you can try olive oil, you can just experiment and have fun with it. But we're using coconut oil because this is honestly the healthiest oil on earth. It's a, a cold pressed organic, extra virgin, 100% uh, saturated, 12 grams of saturated fat, that's it, nothing, no trans fats, no uh, uh, hydrogenated oils or anything like that. So this is a good, uh, a good fat source for energy and what have you. And we got this at Costco, so if you would like to purchase this one, this is a good brand. Oh my god, that smell. What I'm going to store it in is this guy here. It will roughly fill up half of this. This is a good storage uh, unit. Now, depending on what butter, uh, oil you use, depends on how you're going to store it. Now, since this, see how it's solid at room temperature? I would not want to put this in the fridge. It's going to get extra solid while in the fridge. It's going to get so hard it's not going to be peanut butter. So you want to keep it at room temperature. Now, if you're using a peanut oil, it's going to separate. You can keep those in the fridge. It's just that... I prefer mine to be room temperature because when it gets in the fridge, then it's gonna be. It just doesn't seem spreadable. But if you're gonna, if you want to store it in the fridge, and it's your own homemade, use a peanut oil. So we got about two minutes left. I think I might actually just check on it and just see how they're doing. It's got a nice peanut aroma. Eat it. I'm gonna say another two minutes. I'm gonna touch the ceiling. 10 times in a split second. Ready? Alright. So they've been in there for 7 minutes. Let's see how they look. Alright, you know what? 
they're not as dark as the last time I made it. So now, what we're gonna do is let it cool down for a little. All right. So this is a food processor. Maybe you've never used one. If you have, uh, then you know how to use it. If you don't, if you never use it, it's important to make sure it's locked. Otherwise, it won't work. So you know, you put it on and you twist it. There's a little lip in here. It's gonna go underneath that, and that's makes this is uh, locked in there. Pour your stuff in. Is it on right? It won't work either. So go ahead, twist it. You will test. It's not on right. We're good. All right, ready? Time for some movie magic. Let's see what we got working with you. Yeah. Oh boy, that is some nice looking peanut powder. See? I'm probably gonna uh, move this around a little bit and then I'm gonna give it another whirl. Is that a peanut in there? And now we're gonna give it another whirl. I agree with you. We're gonna go ahead and put some oil in. Before I do it, I'm gonna tell you how much I'm doing. It's you can do a one-to-one -one ratio of a tablespoon. This is roughly a tablespoon. And these are teaspoons, two cups. Uh, it just depends on how viscous you want the peanuts to oil, uh, the peanut butter to be. I'm gonna go for a one-to-one -one ratio. Not a big heaping, just enough. <laughs> seems very gritty and honestly you might be considering like trying to compare it to the way creamy peanut butter looks like the GIF or whatever they must really 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 pulverize that stuff down to a fine powder because I mean peanuts just don't want to it's hard to get them that small I, mean, I just had them in this blade spinning at like a thousand rpms or whatever and this is about as small as I got it but you know, I like it. I like it with a little grit. It adds a nice texture. Uh, this good. I'm gonna transfer it. Now this step is optional, of course. You can just eat it right out of the bowl if you want. Now I chose to go the lazy man's route with the food processor. You don't have to use a food processor. You can use the mortar pestle method in which you will take a bowl. You're going to pour all your peanuts into a bowl. And what I did the first time, because I did this already, is you take the juice glass. And you're just going to use the bottom of the juice glass. And you're going to pulverize it like that. And it won't get it as fine as I got it here today. So what you're going to have to do is... Use a wider, wired mesh sifter to uh, crush the peanuts even further, and then you can even see that one. I don't know if you can tell the great pattern there, and then you can break it down even further to there, to that great pattern, and it's just going to make it finer. That's if you want to do the uh, the elbow grease method. I went the lazy man's method, and it came out fine. So. There you have it. If you're interested in this recipe, you can learn how to make it on your own. If you didn't learn it from the video, on our website, twinsengineeringgreatness.com.